The largest insurance and financial services retailer in Western Canada, the Western Financial Group, was acquired by Quebec-based Desjardins Financial Group on December 23rd. ILS-TV spoke with Scott Tannis, founding president and CEO of Western Financial Group, about the evolution of the acquisition and what the deal means for its customers. We've had discussions uh, going on with Desjardins for, for actually over a year uh, with respect to a partnership at Bank West. Uh, we talked uh, quite a bit over the last year about our need at Western Financial Group to bring in a partner uh, into our owner, in, into the ownership and operation at Bank West. We just felt, uh, and it was becoming increasingly obvious to us, that Bank West was uh, not going to achieve long-term viability without a strong partner um, alongside of us who could provide expert banking services, additional capital, um, access to uh, uh, construction of better products, and so on. And uh, so we, we actually, Desjardins was first on our list of who we wanted to talk to as a prospective partner. And uh, through those discussions, which as I would say uh, took the better part of a year, uh, I gather it became you know, kind of obvious to Desjardins that they uh, found Western Financial Group to be a company that uh, had a lot of the attributes that they admire uh, and find in their own organization. Uh, culture is the same. Uh, longer-term vision, strength in smaller communities, uh, multiple products uh, being the uh, you know the strategy: sell more to one customer, and uh, so that ultimately culminated in a uh, in an offer uh, to uh, to our board in mid December, and as a result of the due diligence that they had done. Uh, as we talked about the banking partnership, uh, we were able to come to a conclusion pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Well, for customers, uh, it means more product. The vision that we developed with Desjardins over time was uh, they've got terrific, strong products uh, in areas like um, a, a really unique credit card offering that uh, uh, has some very valuable and innovative uses, um, annuities, universal life insurance, areas of uh, product areas where we have uh, very little or very limited uh, or none, uh, no products to offer, uh, but where there's demand from customers and need from customers. So there's there'll be more product and better product in certain financial services areas. In the key areas uh, of uh, insurance brokerage, uh, the business will carry on undisturbed. So uh, the idea of open market and customer choice, uh, which is which is uh, the strength that Western Financial Group brings to customers, uh, that will that will carry on. And uh, that was something that was made clear to us uh, right off the bat by uh, by the folks at Desjardins is that they're not interested in changing uh, what what is uh, been the uh, the recipe for success at Western. They're interested in enhancing it. They also are interested in maintaining the brand. And so, you know, from the date of closing forward, uh, customers really won't notice a, a difference. The, the objective, particularly with the core business of home, auto, farm, and small business insurance, uh, is to maintain open market customer choice. Uh, and so, uh, you know, we've, we've uh, had discussions with our insurer partners uh, right off the bat to uh, provide assurances to them that uh, uh, that their product flow within our network will not be disturbed. And uh, for us, obviously, a key consideration is employees, and uh, our employees are, are you know, particularly those at the front line, uh, there'll be no difference. They've asked if I would be willing to stay, and I said, of course I was. Uh, you know, this was, I'm, I'm a relatively young guy with uh, uh, a keen interest in seeing the, the business continue to grow and uh, being part of the, of the building and, and growing of the business. Desjardins paid $443 million, or $4.15 per share, to acquire Western Financial Group. Scott explains what this means for shareholders. Well, I think it's a good result. Um, you know, it's a uh, uh, more than a tenfold increase from our IPO price 15 years ago. Uh, so, in terms of uh, you know those that participated uh, in the founding and the initial public offering of the company, uh, it's a it's a terrific result for those that have participated uh, in the equity financings throughout. It's at a 
you know it's a, at a price that is uh, higher than any equity offering that we've that we did in our history uh, it's a price that is uh, 30 some percent higher than our book value which is uh, also a key measurement so you know we think that by by virtually every measurement we can come up with uh, it's a good result for shareholders and certainly that's the message that I'm receiving uh, and have uh, received through emails and phone messages over the holidays